Hello and welcome to the episode 25 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll talk about live performances, a cameo, and some more rehearsals. In 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, had their first engagement at the Hambleton Hall at the eastern border of Liverpool. Organized by promoters Wally Hill and Vic Anton, the night is the first of 16 total engagements that the two have secured with the band. For the occasion, the Beatles shared the bill with Derry and the Seniors and with Farron and the Tempest Tornadoes. On the 25th of January 1963, the Beatles played at the Cooperative Hall in Darwin for a dance night promoted by the local Baptist Church Youth Club. They shared the stage with the Electrons, the Mike Taylor Combo, and the Mustangs with Ricky Day. In 1964, the Beatles performed the usual slots during the two shows at the Olympia Theatre in Paris, France. In 1965, John Lennon and his wife Cynthia left the UK for a 14-day holiday in St. Moritz in Switzerland. They were accompanied by producer George Martin and his future wife, Judy Lockhart Smith. In 1967, Paul McCartney pushed for a further refinement of the mono mix of Penny Lane despite the existing mix had already been sent to Capitol Records for the American release. Three new mono mixes were completed today at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road, between 6.30 and 8.30 pm. The main difference being the omission of part of David Mason's piccolo trumpet playing on the final section of the song. Between 9 and 10 pm, the best mix was copied on another final master to be shipped to Capitol. On the 25th of January 1968, the Beatles were at the Twickenham Film Studios to shoot a personal real-life cameo to be put at the end of the animated feature film Yellow Submarine. The scene, completely scripted, was the result of the four watching a cut of Yellow Submarine and realizing that the film was much better than they had anticipated. When the filming was over, John Lennon, his wife Cynthia and George Harrison attended a Ossie Clark and Alice Pollock fashion show at the Revolution Club in Mayfair, London. Patty Harrison, wife of George, was one of the models. In 1969, the Beatles and Billy Preston were in the Apple Studios in London to work on the Get Back project. Today, they consigned to tape a short instrumental piece creatively called Untitled Jamming, a version of the 1957 Everly Brothers hit Bye Bye Love, Let It Be, Two of Us, and George's Blues, later renamed For Your Blue. The band was in good mood and the session was relaxed with jokes and laughter. This concludes today's episode of What A Fab Day. Please visit www.simonmas.com support to find ways in which you can support this podcast. In the episode description, you'll find a link to the bibliography of the show with its Amazon affiliate links, and another to the complete list of songs tried out during the Get Back project. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.